Welcome back. Today's good news story of the day comes to us from Castro Valley, California. Now, this guy looks like a movie star. I, I'm not kidding. I'm trying to figure out exactly which movie star he looks like. Help me out from home if you can. His name is Ed Adanasio. He uses abstract art and post-its to raise money for animal shelters. Welcome, Ed. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, Ed, can you tell me, who do people say you look like? I don't know. You I remember when I didn't have a mustache and I'm about 50 pounds lighter, they look like Robin Williams, but I don't know. I, I swear, I, from the second you popped up there, I was like, oh, our celebrity guest is here. And I was, and then I was like, no, wait, that's our good news story of the day. Well, you know what it is? You know what it is? We're Calabresi. We look good, you know? That's what it is, uh, see, Kaizen. Of and course. Tell me about your pan the pandemic pet project. Tell me all about it. Well, um, it, I had a stroke in 2009, and it scrambled my brain for about 15 months. And I started randomly drawing on post-it notes. And uh, I didn't think I was they were being saved. And then my wife at the time gave me a notebook after the 15 months, and there were 400 of them in there. Wow. And that started the career. And then most recently, the pandemic pet project started when a friend of mine asked me to draw his dog. And when it arrived, the little girl said, my dog is not blue. And the boy said, oh, I know what this is. This is abstract art. Ed's like Picasso. And that just got it started. It's amazing. I decided I would start doing it. And then people said, how do I pay you? And I said, you don't pay me. I said, take that money and forward it to the rescue of your choice. And it has just taken off totally organically, just through social media and ABC local did a big story about me here. And uh, I've almost done now 1200 post-it notes and you sent it to- them. They're so incredible. I'm interviewing myself, sorry, sorry. No, 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 we were just, <laughs> I just wanted you to know that while you're talking, we are showing some of your artwork and it's extraordinary. It's, they're all Thank so you. adorable. Thank you so much. So walk us through your process. How do you create one, one of your artworks? Like take us through it. Well, they send me the picture and then I just use colored pencils and, and black ink. And uh, I just kind of channel that pet and it just, flows onto the post-it note. Um, if I get into a like a Michael Jordan zone, I can do them every 10, 12 minutes, but some dogs take me an hour. You know, I'll try several times before I get it. Really, what what is it about, Do you can you pinpoint what it is about certain dogs that are harder to draw than others? Yeah, I just drew one dog recently that was extremely cute, and I have problems with cute, and yeah. I have problems with hairy dogs, so. Those are my issues, but I just keep doing them. I get to the, I do four every day, post it on the Pandemic Pet Project page, and uh, people just love it. And then they, when they get the art, they send it, picture of me with the pet, and I think you've seen some of those, and those yeah. are priceless. And you, and you, and so they raise the money for animal rescue. They send the money directly, or does it go to the, um, your Pandemic Pet Project? No, no, I don't touch the money. Oh, got it. It goes to directly to them. My, uh, the rescue mission, the rescue organization that I'm close to is Muttville in San Francisco, and they're the default rescue. But otherwise, people can just pick. And I think over 150 pet rescues have received donations through the pandemic pet That's project. That's wonderful. That's fabulous. I have one more question. You said that you had a stroke. Did you draw before the stroke or was it drawing came to you after the stroke? I'm a writer by trade and I, I was never more than a doodler, but this stroke did something to me because I was just thinking about it the other day. I couldn't, before I couldn't even draw a straight line. Now I can sit there without sketching and draw like 20 near perfect circles. Where did that come from? I couldn't do that before. That's incredible. Um, we hear that you have a surprise for us. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I drew your babies. Here they are. You did? Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh, we love them so much.
much. Oh, thank you so much. It is so wonderful to meet you and talk with you and uh, learn about all your great work. We really appreciate it, Ed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kelly. What a good news story. Have a great story. day.